Hello everyone, Kelly Street here again with uh, Kate Humpage today. She is our account communication specialist, which means that she's our go-to person with our clients and kind of letting them know what's going on with their campaigns and their strategies. And so talking with her today about reporting and measurement. So, hey Kate, how's it going? Hi, it's great. How are you today, Kelly? I'm doing well. I'm excited to talk about this with you. So um, what is the attorney sync approach when it comes to our clients for reporting and measurement? Yep. So our reports are all custom made. Um, you're not going to get a client is not going to see just a generic report with, um, you know, we just pulled from analytics without any of our own analysis. Um, we have custom designed reports and what we're really looking at to us, our most important metrics are the organic local traffic. Um, we also do share organic traffic um, sort of nationally as well. And um, we're also really interested in the business metric, which is how many inquiries people, um, or how many inquiries you are receiving, a client is receiving, and those could be phone calls, form fills, chats, um, also your Google My Business phone calls as well. We tend to track that. We push to track all four of those things, but not all of our clients have chat and, um, you know, each client is a little bit specific in what they track. Um, but for us, we're really looking at just the, or the growth of the organic traffic and the trends of that and then also those inquiries. And I know we, um, we don't really, rankings are something that people focus on. We try yeah. to kind of push back on that a little bit and be like, hey, you ranking number one for attorney, um, Philadelphia is probably not the thing you need to focus on. Yeah. Why, why is that? Right, yeah, we hear this a lot. Um, and especially when we get new clients, um, you know, we have a lot of people who come in who are really, um, they're, they're shocked in our first reporting call when we don't have ranking um, statistics right there. But for us, the reason why we discourage it is because, um, we, we do find that people put too much weight in rankings and rankings is really just a snapshot of that day and honestly that moment um, that a person is searching and so much goes, you know, depends on um, the ranking. So it could be from what location a person searched, you know, what exactly the keywords were, um, you know, and just the time of day. So there's, you know, if, if you're going to put a lot of weight on rankings, it's kind of like chasing your own tail there and you're, kind, you're sort of never going to be happy. And what we would rather focus our energy on and our um, conversations on is, you know, watching that organic growth, like making sure that your, all of your digital signals on your website and your Google profile are all pointing, um, you know, they're all working well and that people are finding you through these more organic uh, platforms. Yes. Um, one of the other things that I know you'll talk about with clients is learning from competitors. What does that mean? Yeah. 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 And so just like with rankings, we have people who come in and they say, you know, like, um, you know, my competitor, you know, I told you about this competitor on our intake call and, um, you know, I, you know, I have my site set on them and they're out ranking me and they're <laughs> outdoing me or whatever. Um, and, and that's fine from a business perspective to, to look at your competitors. I will say for us, you know, we're going to spend our time in the reporting calls talking about you, you know, our clients and our clients account and their performance. Um, and then the way we address competitors, you know, in terms of our own strategy is we really look at, um, the, your competitors backlinks and their new content and different campaigns that they're running. And we take the, you know, that data and that intelligence to inform our own strategy. So um, we like to say that we've already baked in the competitor uh, analysis and like into the strategy. Um, so we are also looking at your competitor, but we're, we don't wanna waste our time together to have a productive conversation about your competitor. Exactly, that makes sense. Um, I know one of the other things that you, because you said strategy, uh, one of the other things that you you will talk about on these reporting and measurement calls with um, with our clients is the work that we're doing and kind of what's coming up next. And I think mm -hmm. that's it's kind of a different kind. It is definitely a different kind of reporting, but the work right. we're doing is 
I mean, it's what we're doing, so they should know and have input on it. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, the reason why we make sure that we, we leave time in our reporting calls to talk about the work completed and the upcoming work. So first of all, for all of our clients, we do quarterly strategies. So um, we are about to enter Q3. So um, we are looking at what we're going to be doing, you know, our roadmaps for all of our clients, July, August, and September. And we take time to walk our clients through that strategy. And, and the strategy is all encompassing. It's about um, the different outreach campaigns we're going to be doing, the content pieces that we're looking at the, um, from the blog posts um, or expanding your practice area pages, and then also that rich media content, you know, your interactive pieces that have statistics um, or cool like widgets in them, things like that. Um, so we walk our clients through that. And then what you'll find on like month to month, month, to month reporting calls, um, we want to have the time to talk about the work completed and the upcoming work because so often our clients are only seeing the content that we're producing, but we're doing so much other work, um, you know, behind the scenes. And so I have really made a push in my reporting calls to, to talk a little bit about that, like invisible work or the technical work, you know, um, about you know, getting rid of plugins that were affecting site speed, um, things like that. That's not yeah. something that they're seeing, but we want to make sure that our clients know, you know, that we're, we're doing more than just publishing blog posts. Yeah. Oh, that's important. The behind the, because really the behind the scenes stuff is often the stuff that's kind of moving the needle on a month to month basis. And then the content is, is doing that work too with creating backlinks and that sort of yeah. thing. But yeah, every little right. bit helps. Exactly. And like, and with the strategy, you know, when we, when we create that um, roadmap, you know, we, we need that feedback from the client and um, with everything we do, we need the feedback from the client because we can create a really great strategy. And then it might turn out that a client says, I don't want any more dog bite cases. So yeah. your strategy stinks. <laughs> and we're like, oh, okay, well, we need to know, you know, your business goals as well. Um, or if anything has changed, you know, since we had initially talked about um, setting up our goals. So um, that's what, you know, that's, that's the whole point of our reporting calls. We can walk through the numbers and the numbers matter, but it's really more about making sure that there's time for us to connect and make sure that, um, that the client understands what we're doing and that we're all on the same page to like achieve the client's goals. Awesome. I think that's a perfect note to end things on. So Thank you, Kate, for your time. I hope everybody kind of understands what it would be like to have that reporting call with, um, with either Attorney Sync, if you're a client of ours, or if you're thinking about working with an agency and just mm -hmm. wondering what is it going to be like on a month to month basis, this is what those calls should look like. Yep, exactly. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Uh, tune in again.